हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक एज यू नो ऑल वी आर स्टडिंग द लेसन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव स्टडीड द टॉपिक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स एंड फैट्स इन टुडेस क्लास वी स्टडी अबाउट द विटामिंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो ऑल विटामिंस आर कॉल्ड एज द प्रोटेक्टिव न्यूट्रिएंट्स सो व्हाई दे आर कॉल्ड एज द प्रोटेक्टिव न्यूट्रिएंट्स बिकॉज़ दे हेल्प्स अस टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर बॉडी फ्रॉम वेरियस डिजीजेस so they are called as the protective nutrients they are also very important requirement of our body we can say because our body needs to protect themselves by the various diseases it will be done by the vitamins so we can observe various types of vitamins so which are those so they, they may be vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and group of the vitamins called as the b complex so these all are the groups of water these all are the various vitamins those are necessary for our body and each vitamin performs various works is it and what we can say about the vitamins vitamins are also very necessary for our body but compared to the carbohydrates proteins and fats vitamins requires very less amount but they are vitamins and minerals requires very less amount but they are very important for our body is it so what we can say here vitamins are called as the protective nutrients and they requires very less amount to our body and they helps to protect our body from the various diseases and they it helps to proper growth of our body and also for to protect from the various diseases so which are the vitamins are listed here see so various vitamins vitamin a c vitamin d vitamin k and group of vitamins called as the b complex these are the example for the vitamins and each vitamin performs various function in our body that we will see in our next class so in the vitamins we have divided the vitamins into two main types so which are those fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins because so you know that there are the various vitamins so some vitamins will soluble in they will dissolve in the fats and some vitamins will dissolve in the water so based on their dissolution we have divided the vitamins into two types fat soluble vitamins and the what are water soluble vitamins let us see about the fat soluble vitamins so vitamin a d e k so vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k are called as the fat soluble vitamins so why means they dissolve in the what a fatty tissue already you know that fats will be present under our tear skin and also around the various organs so in them so what the happens these vitamins a d a a d e k they will dissolve in the fat tissue and they will be stored in the fat tissue and whenever our body requires those vitamins it will be provided it will be utilized it understanding so they will be stored in the what the fat tissue we can say But, and next we will go to the water soluble vitamins these soluble will not store it will be not stored in our body so they dissolve in the water and when they, so what happens so how much requirement will be there our body so they will absorb it and remaining will be expelled out through the urine so which are those vitamins those, those will dissolve in the water vitamin c and vitamin b complex you can say this is a group of a vitamin so group of which group of vitamin b1 b2 b3 b12 and the folic acid so these are the group of vitamins those are called as the b complex and they will dissolve in the water and how much requirement will be there presently how much requirement will be there so they will be utilized and remaining amount of vitamins will be expelled out through the urine because they will dissolve in the water and waste pro waste water otherwise the waste remaining other excess of vitamins will be expelled through the urine we can say here so what we have observed here so two types of vitamins fat soluble and the water soluble vitamins understanding so next we will go to the functions of vitamins already have said you vitamins are very important for our body and each vitamin performs a various function so combinedly if you will see the functions of the vitamins means first one what we can say vitamins are essential for our bone teeth gums and eyes to stay healthy so vitamins are very essential for our bone teeth gums and eyes to stay healthy so these all bones teeth gums these all should be healthy means we should have the particular vitamins so which all the vitamins helps to protect which or uh, which organ let us see in our next class and next they helps us to fight against the diseases already you know that vitamins 
are called as the protective nutrients. It helps to fight against the diseases. So what we can say here, they helps to fight against the diseases. Because of that, we can stay healthy. Because of the vitamins, we can stay healthy here. But they do not provide us with the energy. So here, vitamins will not provide any, any energy for us. They help to protect uh, our body with the uh, various diseases and also to, st to maintain our body metabolism, we can say here. So, what are the things we have studied in our today's class? We have seen about the vitamins, various vitamins we have studied, types of the vitamins we have seen, in the types we have seen fat-soluble vitamins and the water-soluble vitamins we have seen. Next, we have seen the co combination of all the vitamins functions we have observed here. So, in next class, we will study the all vitamins, sources, its deficiency diseases and also its function in our body. So regarding today's class, if you have any difficulty, you ask me. Thank you.